In Southern California, I've had the opportunity to film people enjoying various water activities, often near a white shark. The different types of activities that occur around sharks can give us a lot of information about their general behaviors. Recently, I filmed a spear fisherman bringing in a nice catch. This got me wondering how often spear fishermen have sharks nearby, especially when they bring in a good catch. These two fishermen had not one, but two sharks just 50 yards away. I usually see sharks near humans, but not in a way that looks like they have an interest in us at all. There is one water activity I haven't observed often, especially near sharks. People in kayaks. So this month, I focused on that, specifically kayak fishermen. I was curious to see if white sharks could be nearby. Here are some results of just one day of searching. These kayak fishermen were about one half mile offshore. I was not expecting to see this scene. In fact, I shot all of this with my backup drone that I use for scouting purposes. But as I approached the area, it was immediately apparent a great white shark had taken interest. But why? What I observed for the next 40 minutes is some of the most interesting footage I've captured in a while. For reference, the yellow kayak seen here is 12 feet long. And as you observe the shark, take note of just how apprehensive the shark appears about getting close. The answer to why this shark seems so interested can be seen in this frame. Do you see it? This fisherman is towing his latest catch. It's likely a live halibut. The longer I observed, the more I noticed a pattern. So much so that it was nearly predictable. Here's what I'm talking about. You can see the shark is some distance away and the pattern follows. In what appears to be a steady and cautious manner, the shark would make an investigative pass. One has to wonder if this shark can see the visible halibut in tow, or if she's simply sensing the distress the fish is under. Whichever it is, the shark appears interested, but so continues the pattern, and once again, the shark retreats to a distance. But not for long. Once again, it turns back and inches its way closer to do it all over again. As an observer, I don't have the ability to communicate to the kayakers. The careful approach is evident, but also visible is the fact that the shark has gotten the courage to get closer than ever. But is this a dangerous situation? The thought crossed my mind, of course. At this moment, I'm flying safely at a distance away from the kayaker, but not close enough that he can hear the drone over the ambient wind, water, and waves. Based on my experience, the sound of the drone is unbelievably drowned out by the ocean in most of these cases. Situational awareness also dictates that I can't get too low as two kayakers are near each other and I risk the chance of striking one. That's the last thing I want so I remain at a distance for the time being. You can clearly see the halibut in tow here. That's the attraction. That's how these creatures are wired. But it is observable that the shark is now making shorter intervals between approaching and retreating. Once again, it's visibly cautious. This shark likely senses a fish in distress. It's only following its instincts. But suddenly, the shark loses interest and focuses on something else. Here, it diverts its path to investigate a piece of floating kelp. And just as suddenly as it focused on it, it loses interest. Perhaps because it realized it was not a meal. And so the same pattern re-emerges. The to and fro movement, except this time with the white kayak. 
it's here that you can see this fisherman has two halibut in tow. At this point, I realize I have both kayakers in a safe location for me to finally lower the drone. And right here, just as I do, the fisherman finally notices the shark. And he knows, also by instinct, what this shark's interest may be. He lifts his catch out of the water quickly. Finally, the kayakers see the shark. And this was my favorite moment. The fisherman reacts and gives me a thumbs up. A small moment that for me makes me happy to see. And so the shark and the kayakers both went their separate ways. In my mind, I like to think that I saved a fisherman's catch, but I know in reality the shark was only following what it's naturally wired to do. I was now fully aware that kayakers are not alone. But that wasn't the only encounter of the day. Just a short time later, in a different location, I filmed this encounter. Once again, a great white shark was interested in a kayak fisherman's catch. This is a large shark. The kayak in this frame is 12 feet long, but this shark approached from deeper in the water column before rising near the kayak. A completely different approach from the previous encounter. Right here, you get a glimpse of the girth of this shark in comparison to the kayak. The fisherman appears to be pointing at the shark. This was later confirmed as the fisherman informed a state park's official. The shark did not stay in the immediate vicinity, but based on my previous encounter, I knew there was a chance it may return. And here, you can see it indeed makes a turn back. However, it never approached any closer to the kayaker. A stark contrast to the previous encounter I filmed. The second encounter occurred just 120 yards from the shore and near kelp beds. It involved a larger shark and was in a much more shallow environment. Regardless of the reasons, one thing became vividly clear to me. Great white sharks do exhibit visible curiosity to kayak fishermen, especially if they have fish in tow. It's yet another example of how we can learn by simply observing these creatures. There is always potential for a shark to make contact, yes, especially a shark that is prone to excitement over a distressed fish nearby. But the takeaway from these observations can help us not only avoid contact with a shark, but also to plan ahead to minimize that contact. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. I've also included some links to organizations that are actively involved in protecting our oceans. Please pay them a visit.